This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. We turn now to Egypt, where members of the Muslim Brotherhood have called for a nationwide day of rage today to protest a Wednesday security crackdown that left at least 638 people dead and more than 3,000 people injured. Uh, the violence on Wednesday began when security forces raided two protest camps in Cairo, set up to denounce the military overthrow of, of Egypt's first freely elected president, Mohamed Morsi. Today's protest marches are expected to begin after Friday prayers at 28 mosques in Cairo. Security forces are already in the streets, blocking key parts of the city, including Tahrir Square. We go now to Cairo to speak with Democracy Now! correspondent Sharif Abokadus. Sharif, tell us what's happening today. Well, it's a very tense day, Amy. There's uh, calls for marches to uh, go out from 28 mosques across the capital by uh, uh, pro-Morsi groups. And uh, there's been a stepped-up deployment by the military across the capital with army tanks and APCs and soldiers blocking main thoroughfares, completely encircling Tahrir, not allowing anyone in. Uh, there are already reports uh, coming out of people who have been killed in uh, Ismailia and Tanta, uh, one a canal city. And Another one, a city in the Nile Delta. There's been clashes uh, in Alexandria and Suez. Uh, if those con reports are confirmed, uh, that does not bode well for the rest of the day, as these marches just began. Uh, there's a very large gathering that's happening in Romsi Square, which is in central downtown Cairo, and uh, police are, are being deployed as well. The Interior Minister uh, yesterday authorized police uh, and security officials to use live ammunition against any assaults on state institutions or on the police. And this came in the wake of Morsi supporters attacking a local uh, government building in Giza, part of Greater Cairo, uh, setting it ablaze uh, and burning it down, as well as attacks on churches around the country. So it's a very tense situation.